The second event of the 2018 F4 British Championship was at Donington Park. Round four won by Jonathan Hogard from Sebastian Prio and Jack Doohan. So Hampus looking to grab his first win of the year. Dennis Hauger, the rookie, is next from Jack Doohan. Then it's Seb Prio. Jonathan Hogard, yesterday's winner, maiden winner um, on row three with Ayrton Simmons. Fourth row, Jamie Sharp finished seventh yesterday. It's a good result for him. Luca Allen is next. Then Sebastian Alvarez from Manuel Suleiman. Josh Skelton on row six. And then Patrick Pasma. The grid completed by Kian Jewis and Pavo Tonteri. Hampus Eriksson is going to be keen here, the 16-year-old, to take his uh, first win. Had two podia in 2017. He starts on pole this partially reverse grid race. The lights are on alongside him is Hauger, who gets away well. Some good start by all 14 cars, you've got to say. Ericsson holding his nerve, but look at the outside line there by the Red Bull car. Hauger is going to sweep through and try and get around the outside line. I'm reminded of Dean Stoneman doing that in Renault a few years ago. Hauger, super start around Redgate. He's got the lead field. But now the 33, Doohan, around the outside line. Is he going to be able to hang on to this one? He's got Prio right on his inside now as they come down in the grain of curves. Is he going to hang on to this? Jewis is up in the mix as well. Jewis has really come through, hasn't he? Started on the back row. On the back row. I tell you what, Alan is going well as well. He's uh, this on back on board with Hogarth. Look how close they get. I'm sorry, alongside with Pazma there. Nearly into locking wheels there, yeah. I think it was. Hogarth, then yesterday's winner. It's going to be a big, big confidence boost for him. Now he's, he's got that win and kept it, of course, yesterday. Had a podium at Silverstone last year. But look how close they get. It is Pazma. Gets the move done. Simmons has got the upper hand in this one though, at the moment in third place as we watch Prio looking to try and deal oh, with Luca Allen. Who's having a, yeah, he's having a, a massive one there. Runs wide. That will scrub off speed. This should be Prio's initiative now. Sharp's on the outside of Pasma there, trying to go around the outside as they go into McLean's now. But Hogarth's kind of going on the inside of his teammate. Yes, he's got it done there. Great move from Hogard. It's like a kart race, isn't it, with all these in there? Look how close they are. Absolutely superb stuff from the F4 British Championship. Jewis chasing Doohan. He comes out of the slipstream, has a little look. Now uh, comes out, goes out, have another look. Coming down into Redgate, looks on the outside line. Not sure how much grip is going to be there. Battle for second going through. Simmons looking very keen indeed for second, but this is closer. Jewis has done it. He's, he's got, got it. the move done. Yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, dummy there as he's gone to the outside. Then he's managed to get the cut back as he's come out of the first corner. But Jewis has been super, super quick in the dry. But here we go again with Jewis and Ericsson. Jewis is trying to go on the outside. Will he make that one work? Or is Ericsson going to push him wide? He's left him just enough room. But then Ericsson is going to have the inside as they come into the chicane. But already oh, done it. it. Yeah, that was good racing, wasn't it? Maybe Ericsson gave him a little bit too much room, but perhaps, but he's going to try and fight back. Jewis has a look in his mirror, sees him there, a little bit of a lock-up, he's on the limit as you can see, but he's come through, Jewis here, from the back row of the grid up into a podium position. That is one remarkable drive from Absolutely Jewis. Absolutely fantastic. I'm not sure if he's going to have enough time. He's got eight minutes left to try and catch up the two leaders. hauger has got a penalty, must be track limits or something. Yeah, here we go, five-second penalty for exceeding track limits, car 24. Yeah, exactly what you were saying, Phil, is now it's an MSV track. It just makes the diagnosis that much easier and, and less to argue about for the drivers because race control have photographic evidence of whether a driver does continually buzz too far across the kerbs. I tell you what, you know who's going to win this race, don't you? Jewis. Jewis is, yeah. <laughs> he's now in second place and he's catching Simmons. And remember what happened yesterday, it was these two that had to come in together. Oh, yes. That's the reason Simmons got a, a two-point penalty and, uh, and Jewis obviously didn't finish the race. So let's hope that we don't have any instance in the remaining four minutes of this race. But he's going to look oh. for the inside. Look, that's Simmons obviously defended well there. But Jewis kept his line. He might be able to get the run coming out the corner. He's, he has got the run coming out the corner. Can he make it in through Craners? They're going to go side by side any second now. He's got to leave a little bit of room. He's, He's got, got it. it done. That's an amazing yep. move from Jewis. Yep. Can he outbreak him into the old hairpin? No. Simmons comes back. Simmons fights back at the old hairpin. Here they come then down towards Stark. Is so superb racing. And what is Jewis going to do? Is he going to get a run into the outside? He does. He needs to try and get as much momentum as he can down into Redgate. It looks like he's got the nose cone in front. And is he going to complete the move? Simmons won't want to give him room. Oh. He's going to try and go through. And again, it's clean racing from the two of them. And Jewis is through into the lead. I tell you what, considering this is only second round in single seaters, he knows exactly how big that car is, doesn't he? Because yeah. he's just trying to edge in front. And he did it perfectly just in time before they braked for the first corner. Absolutely superb from Kieran Jewis. Here we go, Kian Jewis is going to take the checker, his first F4 win, and in what fine style does he take it? 
Round five of the F4 British Championship and a first career win in single seaters for Kean Jewis. Then Ayrton Simmons, the championship leader. Dennis Hauger in third from Jack Doohan and Jonathan Hogard. Seb Prio in sixth from Pavo Tonteri. Patrick Pasma eighth ahead of Sebastian Alvarez and Josh Skelton completes the points finishes in tenth. Eleventh goes to Luca Allen from Jamie Sharp. And as we saw, problems in the race for Manuel Suleiman and Hampus Eriksson. Let's have a look how they line up here at Donington Park for the third and final race of their weekend. Pole position for round six goes to Patrick Pasma, Jonathan Hogard alongside, then it's Dennis Hauger and Sebastian Prio, Jack Doohan with Josh Skelton on row three. Row four, Hampus Eriksson and championship leader Ayrton Simmons, Pavo Tonteri and Kian Jewis on row five. Row six, Manuel Suleiman and Sebastian Alvarez. The grid completed by Jamie Sharp and Luca Allen. Green flag waved at the back, everybody ready, nerves will be jangling, engine notes about to rise on the Ickaboost engine, away we go, it's a good start by Hogard from the outside of the front row, taking the battle to Patrick Pasma, but it's Hogard round the outside as they go into Redgate, looking back, a few guys side by side, nobody on the grass, which is good, but Hogard made a very good start, is he going to be able to grab his second win of the weekend here? A good start from oh, him. Oh, someone's turned round there, that's Ericsson and that's Simmons as well, we've been lucky to get away with that one, I think there was a little bit of contact. There's Skelton on the grass, there's Doohan on the grass as well, and Sharp. Sharp as well, but look at that. So Hauger looking to take control of the race here, and he fires his way down the exhibition straight on the outside line, side by side as they come into the chicane, and Hogard sees in there. Hauger just decides discretion, perhaps the better part of Valor there, oh. gets it all sideways on the exit, scrubs off speed, and coming back into the mix now is Basma. So Fortec out front at the moment looking for a second win of the weekend but here comes Hauger again round the outside line and making that look relatively easy round the outside of Sebastian Brio. Yeah, Hauger looks like he's all over the back of Pasma as well. So is he going to try and make a move into McLean's? He's trying to go down the inside through this kink, but there's not going to be enough room. But oh, is there? Oh, they nearly interlock wheels. They nearly interlock wheels there. And how they got away with that, I don't know. Jewis breaking clear now of Sebastian Prio. And it's a three-way scrap for third position. Jewis, remember, who won the previous race right from the back of the grid, coming across and defending his Hauger. And Jewis oh. goes round the outside. Can he make this stick? There's not quite room for him there. Backs out of it, rightly so. He'll, he'll, he'll probably feel that he's got enough speed here. Here to take the battle to Hauger, and here comes Jewis. Has a look oh, at the late inside. Move. Very late move indeed. Are they going to interlock? And Hauger goes into the gravel. Opposite locks, pulls it all back. He has lost the podium position from that. Running up towards McLean through Schwantz now. Up in towards McLean's they go. He's all over the back of the number five car. Looks one way, then the other. Goes back to the outside line as they come into McLean's. This could be about the cut back on the inside. The run through into Coppice if he can get the momentum coming across. Though he's Pazma in the number five car. No, you're not, mate. So you're not having that. So he goes back to the outside. Now we've got Sebastian Prio coming into the mix as well so it's a three car dive make it four because Dewan is in the mix as well but now here comes Jewis through on the inside he's forced onto the grass so onto the last lap four way battle for second Jewis pulls out the slipstream is he going to dive down the inside Pasma knows exactly what he's about Jonathan Hogarth makes it two out of two here for Fortec and himself of course at, Don at Donington Park superb stuff from him second position is going to go to Pasma and I think Ken Jewis knew that if he tried to take him it might have ended up with an off Here's confirmation of the result, round six of the F4 British Championship here at Donington. Jonathan Hogard, second win of his career. Second win of the weekend, indeed, for Fortec. Patrick Pasma, second from Kian Jewis. Then Jack Doohan, Seb Prio, fifth from Ayrton Simmons and Jamie Sharp. Josh Skelton in eighth place from Povo Tonteri. Then it was Dennis Hauger in tenth, completing the points finishers. Championship lead with Ayrton Simmons. 14 points clear of Kian Jewis, now up into second. Seb Prio's third from Jonathan Hogard. Then Jack Doohan and Dennis Hauger. Patrick Pasma in seventh from Pavo Tontori. And then it is Hampus Eriksson and Josh Skelton in tenth. Jonathan, I'd say that goes down as a pretty good weekend. Yeah, not a bad weekend, obviously. It would have been nice to get three wins. Uh, can't have it all your way, but uh, still really happy result. P5 in the reverse grid race. Um, didn't quite go to plan, but managed to get it back nicely. And then uh, good points for the whole weekend.